starting by a Chatters, a beloved Chatters name. All right. There it is. So he gets triggered by a beloved Chatters. Alexander Armstrong. Well, you know, I have some problems with a man named Armstrong. There you go. Right into it. KC. And, uh... Did I replace Danny DeVito at Jersey Mike's? Uh... The next super chat, I think, is what gets him. Uh, th this is. See, you might think this is funny. Hot body. What's the merch store link? Will you now be selling hats that say "Sheet Shitter"? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hot Body. Uh, you're lovely and beautiful, Rocky Dennis. I love you. <laughs> so here we go. Sheet Shitter. See, this is what he's. I think the sheet shitting part he's more upset about than the other allegations. Searching for the tweet. Okay. Now, this is on Twitter. Get all this set here. Let's review. Let's review. He doesn't care that she said he attempted to rape her. He was worried about his asshole. Because he's an asshole. So far, the dabbled verse has accused me of what? Needing supervised visitation with my kids. You started false. that rumor, John. I got a DUI. False. I think you started that rumor too. My car. And I mean, really, you probably should have had at least one by now. Yeah, you know car was repossessed. False. I got fired from Stephanie Miller for being an alcoholic. True. False. Okay. Uh, False. Being, being late, being an alcoholic, and being an asshole. And having no skill. Excuse me. No. And the latest. There's no excuse for you. That I. Did he just sneeze me. into his nose, sneeze from his nose, and then eat it up with his mouth? Every single fucking time I turn my head, there's another allegation. And last night I get a text from my attorney. Bullshit. Or yesterday. John KC is reading, is saying this horrible shit. So. <laughs> so. His attorney is bullshit. He got a text. <laughs> he got a text from his attorney on a Friday night that happened to be watching Casey Armstrong right. on YouTube. Right. Or, or no, I guess he would have been watching um, Point Dabble Point. Right. So yes, there he has an attorney that is on the clock, twenty four hours a day, watching all the shows. Uh, so Vince, the lawyer, obviously texted him and said. Um, something uh to the effect of this he'll, he'll report. holy shit so i immediately text the woman in question because i know it's bullshit it's bullshit she knows it was bullshit she was mad that i had said that she had herpes which i was wrong and i apologize so it should be finished now i apologize she also said she gave you a bull job you lying she's a piece of shit that should be it. Uh, nothing left to talk about. I've apologized. It's over. I made a mistake. That's why pencils. She would have had herpes and genital warts if she had touched you. You slimy slob. I've erased. Yes. I, I shouldn't have included mistake. her when it came to Casey. Yes. There's not a rough racers. There's not a big enough eraser to erase your mistakes. Loser. And she was really mad, but it gets worse. This is where Casey is really in a heap of trouble. Oh, heap of trouble. He kept lying to her, telling her I was calling her all sorts of names. Like herpes infested. And putting out all horrible stuff about her. I never did. Yes, you did. She texted me, and she yes, said this. Did. I don't even have to show up for my phone. I was going to. But he does. Don't worry. I don't want to dox her. You end up doxing her. But stuff. she is a very good friend of mine. Now, now let's, let's read this. He's going to read this to us. But this is what he's saying she wrote in a text message. Have you ever structured a text message in such a manner, OJ? I, I've no, I Her haven't. name is out there, Anne-Marie. And, and even later on in this episode, for some reason, he decides to give out her fucking last name. Like a real fucking idiot. 
But pencils have erasers, so it's fine. <laughs> then that was my that was my mistake, and I apologize to her. That's bullshit. You wrote that text for that, but it's still it is not worthy of making rape false rape allegations. Sorry, it's not. But it's not. I think those okay. were the allegations. I love her though, and I understand they? she was angry. I, I I believe the allegation read that he tried, which is not rape. It's not. It's shitty. It's it's horrible in a crime, though. I mean, yeah. if it's true, it's it's still that. Okay. But and, and that still sounds very believable, just coming from what I've heard out of John's own mouth of stories he's had with women and how aggressive he is, and how you know. So I mean, yeah, who knows? Who knows? But again, we don't know anything that happened. That yeah, he's relentless. Right. Uh, we, we just know not. it was. We know it was said on Point Dabble Point, and we know what we're listening to now. We're giving John. This is fair and balanced coverage, uh, even though we all know John's a fucking buffoon. But according to the message we're getting from this party, the the story has been recanted. Does that make any sense? Are we under? Am I? It's bullshit. John either talked into doing that and threatened her, or he wrote it himself. Come on. We know your tricks, John. None of this makes any okay. sense. No. Good. <laughs> and I will always love Anne Marie. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Baba Bowie told me about the herpes thing. Say it, somebody else's fault. I thought you weren't going to mention her name, you lying piece of shit. Just wanted you to know that. I don't no, really know Bob John, I specifically shit. remember, I got the brain of an elephant. I don't forget. I remember John saying that she told him that while they were in bed. And that's why he didn't shag her. Yeah, I do remember that being the story, too. 